Dr. Hive. This is my brain shock calling you from Telstra. Okay. What do you want with me? What did I do? You want child support? Hello? No, no, sir. Okay. Cause... Actually, you have got some problems with the internet connection, so that's the reason we are giving you a direct call. Ew. Problems with what? No, no. I'm calling you regarding your internet connection. Right. I never met you before, though. You're pregnant? I'm not the father. Do you want to go on Maury? I'll come out like, you don't know me. You don't know me. Don't you say goodbye? Hello? Hello? Who's this? Hello? Hi, Frank? Uh, you're calling for Mr. Frank Moss? I think so. I'm at the store right now. I was supposed to get a, a, a money pack. Uh, was that you I was speaking with? I'm so confused right now. I'm at the dollar store. Right. So, um, this is Mr. John Senior from the head department. You just, um, I saw the missed call and I just gave you back a call. Yeah, thank you so much so because what? it's hot in here. I don't think they have AC and there's a lot of things going on in this store. It's very scary here. I want to get out of here. I want to get this money pack and get my money because you said once I give you, well, right, so the other guy I was talking so to said once the, I get, get the money pack. Um, I, I'm trying to get a money pack right now. I don't know if you heard me. I'm trying to get a money pack. Uh, I'm at the dollar store, and there's no AC in here, and it's so hot right now. It's just too hot. So, so did you get the money pack? I'm online. I was waiting for you to call me because I have a couple questions. How much exactly am I supposed to get? I'm very confused right now, and it's so hot in here. I'm sweating, right, and there's a lady in front of me, and she's about 900 pounds. I'm sorry? Listen. She's wearing biker shorts, though, sir. It's scary in here. Yeah, go ahead, please. You're supposed to have two of them been picked up. I'm supposed to have what? Two. Two money pack cards. Oh, let me grab these eggs. They're on sale. Okay, I can do that, uh, but I just need you guys to be there near the phone because I don't know what's going on in here. I'm very confused, and the heat right. is getting to me, and this lady's wearing biker shorts, okay, and it, it's okay, just okay. nasty in here. Okay, it's nasty. Okay. It's a very nasty experience. Is this PCH? Right. Okay, well, I'm going to get this money pack then, and then what should I do then? Call you back? How do I do it? Yeah. Picked up the cards and I'm on the line. Okay, well, there's about 20 people in front of me. I don't know if a couple people called out or if they cut their hours back, but it's so hot in here and the line is so long. I think I'm going to go outside and maybe maybe have a little sip of hooch and a cigarette, and then when the line dies down, I'll come back in and buy the money pack, okay? Will you be at this number in like five, ten minutes? Right. Okay, I'll call you right back. You have to see this. I'm going to send you a picture of this lady wearing biker shorts. Disgusting. Don't you say goodbye? Hello? 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 Yeah, we got disconnected, sir. How are you doing? I'm okay. I went to the store. I was told to get a money pack, but I'm so confused right now, and it's hot. I was explaining to the other man. I don't know. I was speaking with somebody named Frank. I don't remember, but it's so hot in here. I need to go outside. Hello? Okay, What's his last name, sir? It was like Moss or something. Frank Moss? I think so. And he told me to go to the dollar store to pick up $500 money pack to pay for the taxes for like the $5 million that you're giving me. Okay, and uh, did you get it? Well, I was going to get it, but the line is so long in here. And the dollar store is crazy today. I mean, there's about 25 people online. Nobody's working. It's just, I don't know if somebody called out sick or if they cut back hours. I was telling uh, the other person that. I forgot his name. I'm so sorry. He sounds like you, though. That wasn't you I was speaking with, right? No. And how do you know Mr. Frank Moss? How do I know Frank Moss? What are you asking me? Yes. How do you know Mr. Frank Moss? Oh, eggs are on sale. Um, Frank Moss called me. He was the first one to call me to send me to the, the dollar store. A couple weeks ago, I was talking to him. That's why. That's how I know him. Why? Should I not deal with him anymore? I'm very confused right now. And this lady's wearing biker shorts, and there's a man in here, and he's got a walking stick, but I think it's a like a machine gun or something. Something's crazy. It's not right in here. I want to get out of here. Okay, well, you got you to gotta stay, and uh, when you get the money pack, could you send it to this number? Do I, I send the, the, the money pack to this phone number? Yes, that's correct. And how much should I, should I, should I send? How much exactly do I get? Okay, uh, are you able to do 500? Well, I have to, I thought. I thought that's what the taxes are or something. I'm very confused right yeah, now, so and this lady's wearing biker shorts, yeah, and yeah, I really so don't you like get this. The 500, you get the 500 and send it to this number, okay? Oh, ragu, ragu, jars of ragu are on sale. I don't get out much, and everything's on sale here. Can you can you help me? Yes, just get the 500. Hold on, they're getting okay. a delivery or something. Um, all paper towels are just coming in, too. 
everything's a dollar. So some stores it says everything's a dollar, and then you go in there and it's like five dollars. But everything's really a dollar here. Okay, well, uh, as I said, just get the 500 money back and send it to this number, okay? Okay, and can I text you a picture? I mean, you need to see this woman. This woman's wearing biker shorts, and she's like 900 pounds. And there's this man okay, over here. He looks yes, like Jerry yes, Garcia, and he's got like a machine gun as a cane. Up. I'm sorry? No problem. No problem. You can do that. I got to get out of here. It's crazy. I'm, ba I'm ba by their back door right now. Let me go. Let me see if I can get these paper towels off the truck. All right, I'll call you right back. Connecting. Hello. Grace? Yes, sir. Okay, wh why do you keep calling me? Do you want to eat my brain again? No, no, I don't want your brain. Okay, you're not in, in a cannibal type of mood tonight. You don't want to talk. Connecting. Hello? Hello? Yeah, good morning, sir. This is Steve Wilson you are speaking with, and I'm calling you from the Cybersecurity Department of the Federal Police. Thank you so, so much for I mean, calling me back. We got disconnected. I'm the one who had to kill Santa Claus. How's my report coming? Hello? Do you have any uh, other questions? Yes, Do you have any other questions, Gandhi? Speak up. What's your name? Midanam Raj Patelhe, a.k.a. Uh -huh. your worst nightmare. And where are you located? I'm everywhere. You're everywhere. You can never find the Raj. I'm sneaky like a scammer. Samja? Uh -huh. Hello? Anyway, that's just uh, small yeah. talk. Are you working on my report? Are you working on that? I killed Santa Claus, damn you. Hello? Yes, hello? Okay, you're not saying anything. Are you upset? This line. Are you upset that you can't scam anybody tonight because you're just going to get Raj Patel all night? Are you upset, Gandhu? Yeah, go ahead. Call Patel. All right, I'll call you right back. Good talk. You're out of English, I guess. I don't know. Firmy Lingi. Connecting. Hello. Who is this? Yeah, hi. This is Elisa Martin. I'm calling from Cyber Crime Department, Australian Federal Police. Am I talking with Mr. Razil? Mr. Patel. Midanam Raj Patel. Hey. Up case. Hey. Sorry? What are you sorry about? Being a dumb bitch? Beg your pardon? Kya? Ab kon hai? Why are you begging me, Gandhu? Where are you from? Me Gujarat me rahet hu. O tum? Ab kaha se hai? Gujarat me rahet hu tum. Right. I dare you to come my way. Come my way, bitch. I'll fuck you up Raj Patel style. Kya? Gujarat me rahet hai tum. Me to baat suno. Nada kudiya me aapko swagat hai. You are drunk. You're a drunk bitch. I can't talk with you anymore, Gandhu. Hang up on me. You might <laughs> Alright, call me back when you're sober, okay? Connecting. Hello. Who is this? You're very good day too. This is Alex Marshall speaking to I am from the Cyber Crime Department of Australian Federal Police. Am I speaking with Mr. Batson? No, I killed that man. I choked him. Found him in bed with your mother. I got your back on dude, don't worry. Samja? Hey, what? <laughs> no goodbye. Hello. Thank you for reaching support, sir. You are speaking with Alice. Can I help you? Well, I called before. I don't know if you're calling me back because I didn't get a hold of anybody. Are you Microsoft? Yes, sir. I am from Microsoft. Oh, 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 there's a big problem going on over here. I don't know what's going on. I was using my computer and then I was just doing normal things. I wasn't doing anything bad. And all of a sudden, like a, a little alert popped up and it says I'm not supposed to touch it now. Okay. And I want to touch it. I have to touch it. I need to touch it, actually. I have to be to work soon and I need to finish this report. And now I can't use my computer. Hello? Okay. First of yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. First of all, just relax and calm and let me know what do you see on the screen? Is there any message? Can you read the complete message from me? Right. There's a big white box. It's a nasty thing of a box. And it says, uh, your computer's being shut down for security reasons. Please call this number. Okay. And now I'm calling this number and I'm speaking with you. And thank you. I, I really don't know what okay. to do. I got nervous when I called and no one was there. And now you're calling me back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let me know what were you doing on the computer when you got this message. 
uh, I mean, nothing bad. I wasn't doing anything bad at all. I was looking at some olives, actually. I was trying to figure out why some olives have the red thing in the middle and some don't and which ones are better for you. I'm trying to get healthy again. And I don't know if black olives are good or green olives are is good. Is this the world computer? I'm sorry? Is this the world computer? Is this the work computer or the personal computer? Well, this is my work computer. I bring it to work. It's my laptop. I own it. It's personal. It's mine. But the problem is I bring it to work every day with me. And right now it's messed up. I'm going to get in trouble. My boss is going to be pissed. I don't know what's going on. And okay, okay. I was... I don't listen, know if it matters. Listen, listen. Yeah, but I'm not done yet. Where are you right now? I'm, I'm on okay, the couch right the now. I'm on the couch right now. I'm petting the cat, and I just don't want to go into that room because that white box is still there. That white box is scary. But I was doing other things than just so looking at owls. I'm sorry? Where are you right now? Are you at work, please, or are you at home? I'm at home right now. I'm on the couch. The computer's in the other room. It's sitting on the desk, and I came into the to the couch area and I'm sitting on the couch right now okay. and I was going to have my breakfast uh, and I was hoping the message would go away but it's okay. not going away I don't need that message there it's very scary okay. it's big and white and ugly and I just don't need it it's okay. looking at me and uh, can I just I understand I okay. understand okay. but I was can doing you please listen to me if you are can you please listen to me? If you are not listening to me, how we can fix it? Well, I'm trying to talk. Just, all, just listen. I'm trying to tell you, though. You okay, asked, listen, listen. <laughs> you asked me a I question, though. I, I was doing... All right, let me just say please, one thing, and then I'll let you talk. Uh, I was doing a hundred other things. Shh. I was doing a hundred other things, and then I started looking at olives. I don't know if that matters. That's all I want to say. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I'm listening. No, I'm done. I just wanted you to know that you asked me what I was doing, like it's important. I don't know if that matters to the white box. Um, I was looking at olives, I told you, but that was the last thing I was doing. I was doing a hundred other things before that, so I don't know if that matters. That's all. Okay, let me know what are the things you do in this computer most of the time. Is it the work act? You do only work activities, and do you do any personal activities on this computer? Yeah, I do everything on this computer. I, I have a very high-profile type job. It's supposed to be secure. Nobody's supposed to be able to see what I'm uh -huh. doing. I do a lot of planning for the city. I look up diet things for myself. I look up other things. like um, I go on YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Instacart, Instagram, Tubi, Timu. Okay, okay. Um, how old are you? How old? How old are you? Huh? Uh, 39 and a half. 39. Yep. Okay, but it, okay my, all right. My and birthday's in December, you, though. My birthday's in December, and right now it's July, so it's a half. I'm 39 and a half. I have the big 4-0 coming up in December, December 4th. Okay, no no problem, no problem. First of all, well, not yet. Said, which computer Which computer do you have? It's an HP, Lenovo, exactly. Dell. Which one do you have? Exactly. I used to have a Dell, and then somebody told me to get the uh, Levano one. But none of them worked for me, so I went with the HP. It's the HP 19.3 and a half. Okay, all right. And is this the first time you have issues in the computer? Never happened before? Right, this is the first time I've had these types of issues. I had an issue not too long ago where I was drinking some juice out of a sippy cup and I spilled it. And that was stupid of me. And I that, understand. Everything was sticky for like a week. Because according to the... According to the message which you are reading from me, it seems like there is a breach in your network, okay? Which means it is an attempt of hacking which has taken place. So, are you aware of hacking? Do you know what is the hacking means? I think I've heard the term hacking before because my security on my computer is supposed to be very heavy duty for work. They put lots of security on there and they said no hackers can get through with the security. That's why. And now you're telling me there's a bridge no. or something? You said there's a bridge and the hackers are coming across the bridge? Uh, hackers have trying to get into your network. I'm not talking about your computer. I'm talking about your network. Network means your IP address has been compromised. And some hackers are continuously trying to attack on your identity and your devices. Okay. So in that situation, what I'm going to do, I'm going to guide you some simple security steps to install Microsoft temporary securities, okay, then we will check what all data has been hacked and what is required to be done. So is that okay for you? Are you ready to install the securities? What did you say? Are you interested to install securities? Because we need to connect your computer with a secure server, okay, then we will check what all data has been hacked and what is required to be done, okay? 
Okay, yeah, I think I can do that. I mean, you're telling me you're going to put security on my IP address, right? I think I know what an IP address is. Like, I live at 86 no, in New York. Not. Yeah, go ahead, please. Listen, I'm not putting any securities in your IP address, okay? I put some securities in your computer. First of all, I'm going to connect you on the server. Then we will check with how many hackers are active in the network at this time. Because some hackers are monitoring your all the devices at this time. So let me know how many computers and laptops you have. Uh, six and a half. Okay. But I don't use them all. Um, do but I don't any? use all those computers. Okay. They're left over. Like I told you, I went with the Dell, the Levano. I had an HP 3. I had an, uh, a 7, a 6 and a half, okay. I think. I have, they're all laying around. I very rarely use the other computers. This is the main computer. I've used this computer for about, I don't know, a year and several months. Okay. Several months I've used this computer. Just, call, just, uh, just relax and calm. Let and me I'm take a glass of water. Okay, I'm going to calm down and yeah, take a sure. glass of water. Like I said, this is a nasty sure. bugger of a message. Uh, the whole computer started just froze. It, everything was frozen. You know what I mean? It was frozen. Yes. It was like an ice pond. Everything just froze. And I, I need to do my work because my boss is going to fire me if I'm late again. And I need to get this report done. So I don't know if you can help me in the next 20 minutes. I don't know how long this is going to take. But it sounds like a serious job. You're talking about putting security up there. And then there's somebody downstairs okay. who has a gun. Yeah, go ahead, please. Listen, let me know how much time you have. 20, it's a long 26 time. and a half minutes, I think I have. And I need to finish this report up and get to work. I need to catch the bus. Then I need to go into the subway. And then I need to take a cab from the subway station into into the 43rd Street area. And then I need to walk at two blocks. And, and I'll probably get to work and around. How far is the, I'm sorry? And how far is office? How far is your office from your house location? Well, the office is about 30 minutes door to door, but I can be a little late. I've already worked that in. I don't want to bore you with, uh, you know, some of the excuses okay. I've, I've told my but boss. But I'm uh, taking, listen, but it's a long time procedure, okay? I want your two hours maximum. You want two hours of my time? Yes. Oh. Because this is the story. We need to install some securities, and it's not the easy thing it's a very big issue because your network has been hacked so we need to connect the server then we will install the securities and run some security scans with the help of the security scans we are find out exactly what is the issue and how many hackers are active in your network so is it okay for you uh, i need to make a phone call and tell my boss i'm not going to make it in until about 12 o'clock my time and he's going to assume that I'm only making up a story because this report is supposed to be on his desk in about a half hour. But I can I can do that. I mean, I trust you. I don't know what else to do. I, I would rather be late for work. Get, I, I, I would rather get punished by my boss for being late than to have this problem on the okay. computer. Like I told you, I was looking up olives okay, and I shouldn't have been doing that. It's all my fault. And there's a man on the building. There's a man on the roof. I'm looking out my window right now. He's on the roof over there. Do you think that's one of the hackers? Yes. Oh, the man on the roof is one of the hackers? No, no, not I'm saying. Hackers are in, the, in your network at this time. They're trying to hack your IP address, okay? Yeah, I don't want that. Do I don't want that. I don't want that. Get, we need to get those people out of here um, ASAP so I can get to work and then uh, get this report in there. This is a $203,000 a year job. I've never had a job like this. That's a lot of money for me. I mean, I, I've never had a good job like this. And I've had this job for about, I don't know, 18 months. And I don't want to lose it over some stupid thing. I was looking at olives. Why does that happen? I understand your concern. Might be possible since the time you were visit the website. You went on the wrong link. You went on the wrong messages. And well. Accidentally infected viruses coming into your computer. Your screen got locked up. I don't want to blame the olives. I don't want to blame those olives. But those olives look kind of let scary. Yeah, go ahead, please. Anyone else? Okay. And let me know, is there anyone else uses your computer in the past 48 hours? And only are you the primary user of this computer? I'm the primary user, but I live next door to a woman. Oh, she's a very beautiful woman from Spain. Her name's Gloria. And sometimes she'll go on, on Amazon and she'll she'll buy things from the from the Facebook marketplace. And she's on the computer a lot. But she makes good paella or, or some kind of Mexican dish. And, and it's so tasty. So I let her do whatever she wants, you know? 
I understand. Okay, first of all, we start the. You need to follow the steps very carefully. This is the security protocol. Okay. Oh, maybe she's from Ecuador, okay. though. Actually, she's not from Spain. She's from Ecuador. She brings me flan. You know, flan. It's kind of like a custard thing. She she does a very good job. So I let her go on the computer, and I wonder if if she's the one who ha did anything with this. Maybe she's the real culprit. Maybe it's not that guy in the building okay. over there. Should I knock on her door? Do you want to okay. talk with her? She can talk. Okay, first of all, listen. Yeah. I'm telling you something. At this time, your devices are not secure and your network has been hacked. Tell me about it. Do you know what is the meaning? Okay. Do you know what is the meaning of IP address and what does it work for? I don't think I know it as good as you do. I mean, you're the expert, okay. but my okay. I know what an IP address is. Doesn't everyone have a specific IP address? Okay. Let me tell you first yeah. thing. IP address means your internet protocol address. Okay, if someone hack your internet address, they easily monitoring your both your devices which are connected to your Wi-Fi. That's not good. That's not good. That scares yeah. me. That scares the bejesus out of me. Right. That scares me. But because I was doing my banking, I was checking my investments earlier. I was checking my 401k. I was checking Bank of America, and I was using my phone, and everything's hooked up to the same Wi-Fi. I tell you. There's hackers in here now. You're telling me there's hackers, right? Why can you, can you please listen to me? At this time, cell phone lines are not secure. So don't speak over the call like your banking name. No, don't do it. Well, I didn't say my account, just the name of the banks. I'm very scared right now. I mean, I have a lot of money in that one account. Can you please listen to me? Can you please listen? I'm listening to you I'm and here. you're scaring me. More and more I'm getting scared. I'm like I'm like a goat in the headlights right now. I'm so scared and I don't know what's going on with this computer and I don't want to lose my job and I don't know what's going on. And then you're telling me there's hackers and there's people in the lobby and there's people on the building over there looking at me and now Gloria, I don't know if she poisoned the flan I, and the olives. Everybody's trying to hurt me. Why are they trying to hurt me? Okay. Can you answer me? The reason you had a problem... Yes, and definitely I will answer you. The well, thank reason you. you have a problem. If someone hack your internet address, they easily monitoring your both the devices which are connected to your Wi-Fi. They also impact on your social media stuff, email, Facebook, and your Instagram. And at this time, sir, whatever you can do with the computer, whatever you can do with the cell phone, hack the monitoring your each and every device is easily because they have access of your IP address and every user has own private IP address. Are they listening right now? But Do you think they're listening right now? Might be hackers listening our conversation at this time. Oh. But I'm calling you, listen, listen. At this time, I, I'm calling you on my secure line number. The oh, number thank is you. showing on the screen. It's on the secure line. So okay. don't be scared. Okay? Everything's... I'm with you and this is the secure line and our conversation is secure. Okay. okay? Thank but you. What you need to do at this time. Thank you so daughter, much. Make to me no problem. It's my job. It's my duty to fix your device and fix your problem. Because you're a very kind and nice person. We don't want this will happen oh, again thank in the you. future. Thank you so much. Hi, yeah, I trust you so no much. Problem, I trust you. Okay. Me too, say Piara cut you know the hole. What you need to do? <laughs> okay, now listen. Don't share your any personal information with anyone. Okay, don't go outside for next six hours. I'm not going out there. It's scary. Time. And that man's on the roof. I don't know what he's doing up there. And plus, there's someone in the lobby. And I don't know what's going on. And you're very nice with me. You're very nice with me. I don't want to do anything today. I'm just going to stay here and talk to you. Samji? Thank you so much. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. Okay. Now, what what Go ahead, please. Okay. So yep. at this time, sir, if someone hack your IP address, they also impact on your social media stuff, your email, Facebook, and your Instagram. Now, which okay. Facebook do you think they would go into? Would they go into the Dean Michael Myers or would they go into the to the Raj Patel one? I'm only talking about the Facebook, your personal Facebook account. We can, you can check your social web pages, right? Your personal okay. account. Okay, so that's the Raj Patel email. one. Right. Midanam Raj Patel, hey. Yeah, Naraku diya me aapka swagate, Rundi. Naraku diya me aapka swagate. Me aapko put a din phone karunga. Samji, you should stop doing this. You should stop pretending to be Microsoft. You sound ridiculous. Samji? What? Hey, what are you talking about? I'm talking about you being a fucking loser and trying to scam people out of money, pretending to be Microsoft, telling them they're just hackers on the line. What's wrong with you? To make Yahua. Don't you say goodbye? She wants me. I could have kept that one going all day. Connecting. Hello? Kya? What were you just saying there? What were you doing? What was that noise you were making, Gandu? What do you mean, Gandu, sir? I don't understand. 
Oh, you're saying that with a very thick Indian accent, though. You do realize that, right? Uh, no, absolutely no. My yes. Name is Rajesh Khanna, and I'm calling you from Carphone Warehouse Company. How are you? You're trying very hard to sound like you have a British accent, but everybody knows you're from India. No, I am. <laughs> no, you're I not. Who's no? Nahi Gandhu. I'm, I am. No. What do you mean? What do you mean, Gandhu? I don't understand that. Oh, friend. Like me. Yeah. Like me. How you speak? Oh, like Hindi. How is that possible? How is it possible that you speak English? That's a possible because I'm British. But you're not British because you have a very thick Indian accent. You, you're almost you can fool some people, but you're not going to fool a linguist. You have an accent. Yeah, some I, have, I have a good accent. You're you're not that bad at it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ingrisi is good, but you're not going to fool people. Hindi. Yeah. Talk to me in Hindi. Yeah. But you don't understand. So why should I bother? Some Uh I tried. To I try to understand. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah. You don't uh, understand? Shall I, uh, like, shall I give you answer in Hindi or in English? In Hindi if you can. Aap uh, kahan se hai? Aap kahan se hai? That's what you say? Oh, you say better than me. Yeah. Tum kaha se ho? Yeah. Uh, I'm... Uh, main New Delhi se hoon. Oh, okay. Aap kahan pe rate hai? May Gujarat may rahe to whom? Gujarat may. Gujarat, right. right. Uh, Gujarat. Or uh huh. Tomara asinam kya hai? Vijay Patkar. Kya? Vijay Patkar. Oh, okay. Midanam Raj Patel hai. Yeah. Aapka naam Raj Patel hai? Right. Okay. Anything else? Tum kya kar rahe ho? Main bond bana raha ho. Like why? Q, why are you doing this? Oh, you speak such good Hindi. Yeah, mujhe madad chahiye. Jawab do, Kripya. Why are you doing this? Connecting. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, good afternoon. So, how are you doing today? Oh, me tiku. Danyavad. Me tum se kaha hi ta. Sorry? Yeah, exactly. Let me give you a call back in five seconds, okay? Me a bhi baat nahi korsekta. Kya? Sorry? I said, may a be bat nahi korsekta. Adi yaar, a boss ko hot ho gaya. Yeah, sir, what did you say? I know, I know, I know. Even though you have a very thick Indian accent. All right, firmly linge, douchebag. Tired of this. Okay, shit. Okay, mujhe chalna chahiye. Firmly linge. Yeah, go to now. Yep, I'll, I'll go there and I'll come right back. Samja? Connecting. Hello? Oh, adi yaar. Vapas ane ki liye, shakriya. I'll call you back in five seconds though, okay? May a be vias tum. Sorry? I'll call you back in five seconds. In five seconds. Five seconds. Yeah, koi baat nahi. Chinta makado. Chinta makado, Gandhu. May I go put it in phone karunga all day? Study. All day. Study. If you want to tell people you're from 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 study. Britain, you if you want to tell people you're from Britain, you have to stop saying study. That's where it slips. That's where people can tell you're from India. Samja. Study. I'm trying to help you, Gandhu. Study. Study. Sorry. Right. Keep going. Try it again. Right. Try it again. Sorry. Keep going. Try it again. Toda saor. Yeah. Try it again. Toda saor. Toda saor. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you a call back in about five seconds, okay? Make it one second. Well, I can't do one second. I mean, well, maybe. Let me try. All right. Firmly lenge. Connecting. Hi, this is Brian. How are you doing today? Good, Brian. Is this, the, uh, are you from the medical office? Yes. Okay, thank you. We are. Yeah, do you have band aids? Do you have band aids? Right, do you have band aids? I'm not far from you. I was bit by a shark. Do you have any band aids? Hello? He's no help. Connecting. Hello, my name is Alex Brown. How are you doing today? Good. Are you from the medical office? Yes. Okay, thank you. Do you have like any gauze or band-aids or anything like that? Can you patch me up? An alligator bit my penis. Don't you say goodbye? Connecting. Hello. Hello. My name is Adam. How are you doing today? Doing good? Good. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking me. So, well, sir, the reason of my call is let you know that you can qualify to get up 100% coverage of your dental, vision, hearing, and coverage of your copies, 
along with your extra cash back, like one seventy eight dollars oh, every month. You're from the Medicare office. Are you from Medicare? Yeah. Are you from that yeah, great big building right. in Texas? Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, do you have any band aids or gauze or any kind of wrappings, like a patch? Maybe a patch. I was stung by a jellyfish right in my eye. Do you have patches? Don't you say goodbye. Connecting. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, hi. This is Anna on a recorded line. How are you doing today? I'm not that good. I was bit by like 300 mosquitoes. Are you the medical office? Connecting. Hi, this is Jason from Halkar Bani. What's how are you doing today? Oh, hi, Jason. Aap kaise hai? Mera naam Mohammed Khan hai. What's going on? Bolo. Hello. Hi, this is Michael. I'm calling from Telstra. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Okay, get fucked. This is Michael. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello, sir. This is Kaidi, and I'm calling you from Telstra regarding your internet connection. How are you doing today? Okay. The reason of my call is to inform you that there has mm -hmm. been some changes since in your network status from private to a public connection. Oh, good. Do you have any idea about this, sir? I didn't do it. I promise I didn't do that. I don't know what happened. Yes, you didn't do it. Okay, don't blame now, me. Uh, first of all, don't be mad at me. No, no, Are I'm you mad not at blaming me? you. I'm not. Oh, I'm okay. not blaming you, sir. I don't have to pay I, extra, right? I, I don't have to pay extra no, now, right? No, you don't. You don't have okay. to. I'm simply Thank trying you. to explain to you the problem that you're Please having in your internet. Me. Would you please let me know that? How often do you use your internet? Like every 20 minutes I go on there and I look at porn. I look at Indian women, like Desi porn, naked Indian woman. Samji? What? Could you repeat that again? I made two say pure Could you repeat that again? Yes, I can. I can repeat anything you want me to repeat. I, I go on the internet like 50 times uh, an hour, and I just keep looking at porn, um, Desi porn. Like, I, I love the Indian woman. I just love them. I can't get enough of them. They, oh, they wear yes. saris, and they yes. lick each other. Who are you? Yes, yeah? who are you? You don't have a girlfriend, and now you have to do right. watch with porn. Right. I you feel sorry for me? I feel pity for you. Mm. Oh, Bohacha Kriya. Hello. Hello. Hi, very good day to you. This is Eva. I'm calling you from the technical department of Telstra regarding to your internet connection. So how are we doing today? Good, babe. I'm tied up at work, though. Can you please start dinner? I'll be home later. I promise. I'm not cheating on you. I really have work to do. Samji? Hello. 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 Yeah, hi, Hello. sir. Yeah, hi, sir. This is Amy. Amy? Amy, you're a yes. dead giveaway. Fix your phone. Every night I tell you to fix your phone. You don't listen. And you don't say goodbye. Hello. 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 Hi. Hey, hi. 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 Oh, Mark. Very good to use. Mark? No, 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 no. My name is Jessica. <laughs> oh, you sound like a Jessica, you dumb fuck. <laughs> yeah, hi. Good afternoon. My name is Daniel Aparkal. How are you? Oh, my cheek was Shukriya. I'm Kesey here, Gandhu. Right. Right. Hey, how are you doing today? By the way, sir, you are qualified to get some additional benefits without any cost. Hello. 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 Yeah, hi. This is David from the Telstra Technical Department in regards to your internet connection. So, how are you doing today? In regards to what? Internet connection. This call is all about your internet connection, okay? What's that? What's that mean? Yeah, actually, sir, the reason behind my call is that from the last couple of days, we are continuously receiving a lot of error and warning messages from your internet router to our central server, which indicates What's the reason? That, no, sorry? What's the reason for your call? The reason of my call is that from the last couple of days, we are receiving a lot of error and warning messages from your internet routed to our central server, which indicates that your internet line is not secure. So for that reason, today we initiated this call to you to secure your internet line, okay? 
You're calling about the Easter baskets? I'm talking about your home internet. Oh, the internet, the internet that, that that's at home, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I have an internet at home. The connection, you're talking about the connection, right? Yes. Actually, but not the, Easter, not the Easter baskets. You're talking about the internet, right? Yeah. So, okay. sir, like, somebody is trying to misuse of your internet connection for the... Did you call them? Sorry? Did you call those people? They are outsiders, okay? We don't oh, they're outside? Are I'm yeah. going to look out my window right now. I think I saw a couple people earlier. Do you think that's All them? Right. Do one thing, sir. You simply go in front of your internet box and tell me how many lights are flashing. Just check it well, out. The problem, by your the problem is the computer's right near the window, and I'm afraid to go by the window now because what if those people are out there? They're looking in my window, right? Hello. Hi, this is Michael. Hello. How are Mike, you? How are you? You again. Me again. Your name is Raj Patel? Right. I think your name is, I think your name is Asshole, you know that? <laughs> Seriously, I'm talking to you. Don't laugh like a fool, okay? When you laugh, you just see on the face of the mirror, you look like an idiot when you laugh, okay? Don't laugh yeah, without any reason, okay? You yeah, get fuck. to fuck your, you get fucked, okay? Connecting. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, my name is Sam, and I'm calling you from Telstrom. So, how are you? Sam, you're not to the office yet? How long has your train ride gone to? Yeah. You're on the train. You've been on that train since Nam. Get off the train, bitch. No, motherfucker. No, motherfucker. I'm not in the train, motherfucker. Oh, you're outside? What's all that wind? It sounds yeah. like you're... Sounds like you're on a train, Mother Chode. We are in office, motherfucker. You're not in an office. You're not in an office. Yes, motherfucker. <laughs> no, Mother Chode. <laughs> Connect. Hello? Hello? Hi, a very good day to you. My name is Alexa. I'm calling you from Telstar regarding your internet connection. How are you doing today? Good. You're in Sonagachi? Hello? Excuse me? Hello? Hello? Hello. Yeah, hi sir, this is Amy, and I'm calling you from Technical Department of Delta. Amy? Hello? <laughs> Phone still sucks. Connecting. Hello. Grace, you never say goodbye. I'm getting tired of this nonsense. Say goodbye. 